to show you how easy it is to transform a tin soda can into a pair of punched tin earrings. The first thing you want to do is empty out your soda can. We've just got a generic can from the grocery store because we picked out the colors that we like. Looked at all the cans and we liked this um, red and blue with these dots. And we rinsed out our can and there's a little bit of fluid left in it, but that's okay. We've got kitchen scissors, and we're just gonna dive in and stab a hole into the side of this can to get started. And it looks scary, but really it's not. So I'm gonna open them up and very carefully punch a hole right in the top of the can like that. And from there, I can just start cutting the top of my can off. So there's the top of my can cut off. I'm just gonna set that aside. And you can see that I've got some tin edges here that are a little bit pokey. Just be careful. It's not actually that crazy sharp, but just be careful so you don't cut yourself. And I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to just sort of wipe out a little bit of the fluid here so it doesn't get all over my work surface. And I'm going to continue to cut my can. And at this point, what I like to do is look for the part of the can that I know I don't want in my earrings. And I'm going to cut there. I'm going to cut a slit right up the side like that. And then I'm going to sneak my scissors into the bottom edge there and cut the bottom of the can off. And there's the bottom of my can. And now what I can do is take my paper towel and just wipe out the little bit of water that's left in there from when I washed out my can. And there we have a nice big piece of decorated tin from our soda can. And what we like to do now is take a craft punch. This is just a heart craft punch from the scrapbooking section of the craft store. And a little trick with this is instead of using the hole punch this way to punch my tin, if I used it this way, I wouldn't be able to see which part of the can design I'm getting in my earrings. So instead, I'm going to use it upside down. And I'm going to slide my, the edge of my can into my punch like that so that I can see through the little um, back here. I can move this around to pick out what I want my design to be. I think I like this red and blue in my design like that. So I'm going to then just punch it, and you can flip it over to punch it if you want. I'm going to do it this way so you can see it. And then I can just pull my little heart that I punched out. And there's my first little heart punch, super cute. A little water there. And then I'm going to look again and see if I see another spot I like. And I think I want to get a, a little of this circle up here. So I'm going to cut part of this can off cut it away so it's out of the way. And I'm going to cut some of the bottom of this off. And that way I can get the heart up where I want it on, on this design, on this can. So again, I'm just going to move it around until I, until I like my composition. Ooh, that looks fun. I'm going to punch again. Pop my little heart out like that. And there are my two little hearts that I'm going to turn into earrings. And I like that they're a little bit different from each other. And I love that I've got a little bit of color on each one. Super fun. Now I'm going to take a, just a regular hole punch. And this is just a one that you would use from, you know, your out of your office supplies. And for this design, I'm going to punch a hole in the upper left of my heart there, not in the center. I want it to sort of hang um, from one side. And again, I'm going to use the punch facing up so I can see where I'm punching the hole. I want to make sure that I've got enough of an edge all the way around my hole so that I, when I put my jump ring in, um, it doesn't tear through the little edge. And I want it kind of centered along that edge. So I'm just going to punch that. And there's my first little hole punch. And I'll do that again in the upper left of this one. And again, I want to make sure I've got it in the right spot. Punch it again. And now all I have to do is turn these into earrings. 
And to do that, I'm going to take a jump ring, and I've got kind of a large jump ring, and I'm going to hold it with some chain nose pliers, just because that makes it a little bit easier to handle. And I'm going to feed that, the little hole that I just made, through my jump ring, and then I'm going to close the jump ring. And to close the jump ring, I'm going to hold the jump ring on one side of that opening with my chain nose pliers. I'm going to grab a second pair of pliers, and I'm going to rotate this jump ring closed, just like that. And that'll keep that nice round shape of my jump ring. And I'll do that again with my other earring. Just like that, and then close it. And you can always make sure that your jump ring is closed by sort of pressing across the opening also to make sure that it's closed. And now what I can do is open the loop on my earring wire. And to do that, I'm just using chain nose pliers and I'm just gonna rotate that loop to the side, kind of like I'm opening a door. I don't wanna pull it this way because I'll lose the roundness of my loop there. And now I'm just gonna hang my jump ring on that loop and close my, the loop on my earring wire. And I'll do that with my other earring as well. I'll open up the earring wire, the loop like that. Slide the jump ring over that little loop and then close it. And my earrings look fabulous, but just as an added bonus, I'm gonna add a bead to each of my earring wires. And to do that, I'm just gonna slide the bead onto the back of the earring wire and we tested these beads to make sure they fit over the wire. So not all beads are gonna fit nicely over the earring wire, but these happen to, which is nice, and it just adds a little bit of color. We'll do the same thing with our other earring. Take the earring wire, the back of it, and our little bead, slide that on and up and over and around like that. And there are our darling punched tin heart earrings. Mm -hmm.